Hey, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jeff Lonette, and welcome to the home edition of Learn Now. So my job during the school year is that I get to work with awesome teachers and help them make projects to make school engaging and fun while you're learning all the things you need to in school. And every time I talk to teachers since we've had social distancing going on, they're all really sad because they do great things with you every day face to face and they're not able to do the same things while you're away from school, but we're trying our best. So it got us thinking, how can we help students continue to build their crit critical and creative thinking skills even when they're at home? So we thought we'd make some videos that could help people of all ages, whether you're a kindergartner, a fifth grader, an eighth grader, a 12th grader, or even parents that are watching videos with their kids do something that would keep your brain activated. So our three focuses are gonna be, number one, stretch your brain. Number two, think really deeply. Number three, most important, let's have fun, okay? So today's focus is going to be on creativity. Specifically, we're gonna focus on creating unique solutions and understanding why it's important to refine and revise your ideas. So anybody can do this project, but before we get started, we need to get a couple things. Number one, we need something to write with. It could be a pencil or a pen, that's up to you. Both are fine and it doesn't matter. And number two, a piece of paper, that's it. Now, if you don't have a piece of paper, maybe you're someone who journals and you have a piece of paper in your journal that you can use, that's great. Or if you don't have that, get creative because sometimes you might find things that you're throwing away. I got, a, I got a bill that I paid from Verizon, but if I flip it over, that's perfect for a piece of drawing paper. So whatever you want to use is great. Go get your materials, and we're going to move on to the next section. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now that you have your materials ready to go, you have your piece of paper and your pencil, I'm going to go over what your project is going to be today. All we're going to start with is some random shapes. The shapes that I'm choosing to use today are a circle, a long rectangle, two different triangles, and then you'll see at the bottom here just some random shapes that look like they're put together. The one here is just a simple oval this way and an oval this way, so you can get creative with your, with your shapes, but I'd like you to start with six. And your task today is to think like a cartoonist, and I'd like you to ask yourself this challenge. How can you as a cartoonist turn these shapes into different cartoon characters? I want you to be creative and come up with unique solutions thinking about how the shape really influences your design. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to zoom in. I'm using my iPad so I can record it. I'm going to use my pencil. I'm going to use a red pencil just so you can see the difference. And I'm going to start just by sketching in a face. That's pretty easy. I think anybody here, whether you're in kindergarten or an adult, could simply make two dots, a nose, and a mouth if you want to. But it really doesn't have much character. So what I'm gonna do is continue to refine my picture. Maybe I put some circles around my circles and give these eyes a pupil and maybe an iris. Maybe I'll make the top of the eye a little bit darker, maybe a couple little eyelashes, maybe I'll give some details to my nose, or maybe think about putting some hair on top of this head. Is it okay that I go outside the circle? Absolutely, it's my picture. I just want the circle to influence what it might be like. So ladies and gentlemen, you'll notice as I'm making this picture, it's getting to be a little bit better every time I make some marks. Maybe I'll go down here and make the mouth open and put some teeth in. Maybe I'll make his chin a little pointier. The idea is to use the shape to influence me, not to really hold me back. I can go outside, I can get creative, whatever I want. I just made in about, what, 45 seconds, just a little boy. Maybe I'm gonna give this little boy some glasses if I want to, that's up to me. Now, you'll notice, boys and girls, I'm drawing nice and light, I'm not pressing hard, and I didn't use an eraser because using an eraser doesn't matter. We're not trying to make beautiful art. We're just trying to stretch our brain and make an idea. How's that look so far? It's okay. It's not my best work and it doesn't have to be and it doesn't have to be yours either. We're just trying to loosen up and try our best. Now one thing I'd like to show you boys and girls is how the different circle can be used in a lot of different ways. There was the boy. Now here's one. I have a girl looking a different direction. Similar details. Maybe I'm gonna think even differently and say, you know what? I think I'm gonna make someone really old. 
Or maybe I'm not going to make it a face, but I'm going to consider how that circle could be a whole body rather than just a face. Or maybe it doesn't even have to be a person at all, and it could be some kind of weird monster or alien. That's up to you in being creative and doing something that's fun. So I'd like to show you how I've taken the same shapes and done some different things with all of them. So check this out as we look at here. You'll see that I made six very, very unique cartoon characters, but they're all based off of the same shape that's underneath. You'll see how the shape really influenced what I was doing. It really influenced the shape or what the character looked like. And that's what I want you to do. Get creative by using that shape. All of them are different, all of them are unique, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what your ideas are. But keep in mind, draw soft, draw light. That way, if you make a mistake or something that you don't like, you can just keep going. Take a look at the difference between my football player and the shape of my robot gorilla over here. They're similar, but they're very, very different. And if you look closely, you'll see I wasn't erasing anything with this. I was just kept drawing and adding to it and then going over darker areas of the things I really, really liked. Some of these you can darken in, you can shade a little bit, that's up to you. But keep in mind, this is not about making beautiful art. This is about stretching your brain and doing something really, really interesting. But remember to always look at it and say, what's good about what I'm doing and what are small tweaks that I could make, small revisions to make it even better. So what amazing unique ideas did you come up with? What can you do to make them better? When you look at your pieces, I want you to always think what's good about them and how can they be better? Sometimes you might even take the same character that you've made and draw it a lot of times so you can tweak it and make tiny improvements to continue to revise and refine your ideas. Once you're done with these, share it with somebody else. Maybe share it with your mom or dad or brothers and sisters. Maybe take a picture of it and share it with an aunt or an uncle or a friend. Or if you'd like to share it with me or your teacher, email it or get your parents to tweet it to me at Jeff Lonette on Twitter. I'd love to see your amazing ideas. I hope you had fun. And keep in mind, you can always watch these videos again because the activities could be totally different the next time you do them. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the video and I really hope that this helps you go the distance with your learning even while you're at home. Have a great day.